think it's showtime. Good morning, wake up. Yes, it is showtime and a full show, packed or packed house rather today. Let's go head over to the kitchen. Some pretty nice pink jerseys, guys. I, I ain't like got them. mine on yet. <laughs> but hey, good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM on a good looking, beautiful Thursday morning. Today we've got a guitar player, Hayden is in here, gonna entertain us just a little bit. These two guys are gonna be singing. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't know that? I, know. <laughs> well, I figured y'all could bust out a tune here. If you need us to, I guess we can. Okay, All good. Right. Yeah. You in on that? Sure. All right, guys. All right, what's your name? Aaron Dove. And you're wearing these pink shirts for what? Uh, the Pink Out game for uh, next Friday night. Next Friday night. And you are? Justin Pilot. All right, and we got the coach over here and a bunch of other folks. We'll talk to them in just a second. We even got the mayor of Falkwell in here, too. <laughs> and Lance is back with us, assistant fire chief. They got there. How many years y'all been doing that? 20. 20 years. Lance was just in diapers the first year they started that thing over there. <laughs> we'll talk with them again in just a little The fall festival coming up in Falkwell tomorrow, uh, Saturday, and what beautiful weather they're going to have for it. We have got a – go with me, John David. Right. Not on this one. Take me on this one. Leave it on that one over there. I always like to, Now, y'all be getting that song ready that y'all going to do. Sponsored by Hometown Market. Over here, we got all the people from Fall. I, I said all week long, we got half the town in here. So we got y'all ready to go. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Good to see you. Good morning. And I know this is helping you out. You'll tell us all about that in a little bit. Hey, Coach. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, good to see you. And you say me and your old friend. Yes, sir. It's been a while back. You were yes, just sir. a kid back then. I was, yes, sir. Did you arrest him? What's the deal going on, Coach? <laughs> yeah. We're going to talk for y'all later. What's yeah. up with all the pink stuff here? All right, so we're doing the first ever police and our lawyer. In our uh, charity this year is the Press for Kelly Foundation. And so we're just excited about that. It's going to be an awesome night for an awesome cause. All right. Well, hang on. We're going to talk more about that later on this morning. Again, thank you so much for coming. Thank up. you for having us. Couldn't get your husband up here today. No, he had to take care of the children. Okay. All right. Let's go right now to glory with the weather and the forecast. And, oh, I've got to tell you all, Joe Carlucci from New York City. New, New York, York City. City. That's right. He's going to be serving up pizzas in just a – y'all know Joe's <laughs> world famous, don't it's you? good, too. That's right. You ready, Joe? <laughs> But well, here in Florida with the weather, y'all hang on. 56 degrees, and yes, uh, Zach has already had what pepperoni pizza was that? One piece, coach, right? One piece. One piece yes. he wants it's us to know. Free, the show is free. still early. It's free, it's Plenty free. of pizza over there, guys. Grab what you want to eat, and it was made fresh this morning. 56 degrees outside feels absolutely wonderful. Finally, feels like fall. But don't get used to it. Temperatures today are going to be quite nice. High temperatures around 77, 76 degrees. Tomorrow, things warm up. 82 for your high. No rain to really worry about. Just yes. that 20% chance of a shower. But more than likely, you won't see any rain for probably a week. Looky there. and Look at that forecast. Next week, Monday, though, 66 for that high. Can you believe it? We might see some rain on Monday. Yeah. Too soon to tell. But nice temperatures. Joe, up here this morning. Good to see you again. Haven't seen you since Sunday school, Sunday. You were there? Oh, that's right, you were back. Yeah, I was yeah, back from a <laughs> two week uh, vacation, so I'm back. Just to see you this yeah. morning. How was Good that Auburn you. game since you were by my fan? Uh, I tolerated it. Did you tell me ESPN <laughs> interviewed you? They did. At the Waffle House. At the house. Waffle House. My did wife and I was at eating breakfast. But it was her birthday, Jerry. It was her birthday. Her birthday. To venture out and go to. Yeah, no she's an Auburn fan, so I took her down and went to the Ole Miss game. Had a good time. <laughs> Notice it, how he said okay. that went to an Ole Miss game. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Greg, yeah. Coach Skipworth, the track team, how did the track team do over at the big uh, thing at Oakville? Uh, they placed uh, ninth in their division. Uh, they had 5,000 runners, 215 schools. It's the biggest event of the year in Alabama. Mm, it's huge. And right now, they're, uh, the girls are still doing well. They're ranked first in their region, and we have a meet over at uh, Point Mallard this weekend. All right. Great. Good deal. So we got a lot going on here. Reggie will be here in just a little bit, too, so I'm going to straighten y'all out just a little bit. First off, <laughs> let's go to sports with Bama Reggie. Zach right now, brought to you. Hey, Coach, are you, are you ready this morning, too? I'm ready. All right, he'll be, he might have to assist uh, Zach with sports this morning. Here's Zach and what's happening in the sports, sponsored by KFC. Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports, brought to you by KFC, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone yeah. County. Hey, I got to mention yard sales, Brad. No. Hey, I'm looking straight at the camera, Jamie. I'm, I found the camera. Hey. Yo, you eating up a lot of hey, time. Yard sale, <laughs> 103 Hammond Street. My mama and aunt will go tomorrow and Saturday. Please buy them out. 
And my sisters are actually having one right down the street, New Haven Townhouses 200, Santana Drive. If you need me to mention a yard sale, bamazak at gmail.com. I'll mention anything you want. To oh, oh, there's Clint Leg. Hey, high school. Uh, hey, we saved your chair. Coach P, Coach P will be here, and we'll talk about his 100th victory uh, this past weekend. And they're getting ready for a big game Friday night against John Paul the second. We also have other games, Austin Hartz, West Morgan, East Lawrence, Hartstool, Hazel Green, Athens, Columbia, Cater Heritage, Southeastern, uh, Lawrence County, Ardmore, and the Faultful will be playing West End. And also Lauderdale County, Elmont, and Tarrant at Tanner. So those are some guys. Camera, I think that's okay. That's good. Yeah, right right in. Yeah, hey guys, he's facing right in. Yeah. I like it. Hey guys. <laughs> hey, uh, New Hope, hey, you're, you're on the mind of Jamie. New Hope is looking for a new coach. No. Coach Kenny Chadwick resigned after one year. One in five said he ain't seen his kids in 22 days. So he's going ahead. He's been seeing other people's kids. But so he's resigning. I heard the rumor. This is a rumor, Jamie. That you're going to start. First coaching? call they're going to make is to a former New Hope legend, Howard Cross, Jamie. Cooper. <laughs> yeah. My brother was hired heard. out there. That's what I heard. Your so, brother would. So just think there. about that. They would have to be hurting awful bad to hire me as a. Well, I can't even stay up that late to watch a game. Hey, I know Jar <laughs> Joe Carlucci from New York City will be liking this. New York City. They come back from 02 deficit and they have uh, that one. Deficit. That's a deficit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Deficit. Hey, they come back and won. Don't know if they're deficit. And they, they beat the Cleveland Eagles. <laughs> and Washington uh, won last night, so they're going back for game five against the Cubs tonight. Former Hartsville quarterback Trevor Oates set three single passing records for Birmingham Southern. So he threw for 447 <laughs> yards and two touchdowns. Right. Kerry Good to be honored in uh, <laughs> Town Creek this weekend. So remember him. No, well, it's actually November 5th at First Missionary Baptist Church. He's getting a lot worse, so keep that guy in your thoughts and prayers. And one more big upset last night. A couple weeks ago, Troy beat Sellish, but last night yeah. they lost to South Alabama. <laughs> not today. I heard about it. You Back done? to you, Jamie. You done? Hayden, hey, get ready. You about ready? Hey, we got special entertainment this morning. Hayden Stevens is in making his first. Is this your first live appearance at 6 a.m.? It is. It is. <laughs> you can thank your parents for that. Professional <laughs> guitar player. That's right. Roger Whit was your granddaddy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He played up here. A football Roger player, Whitt. too. Everybody mm -hmm. well know, knew Roger from playing a guitar. Tanner boy. Huh? Right. Tanner, Tanner boy. That's right. right. Uh -huh. Let's go local and love it on this Thursday morning. Y'all hang on.
I was, up, I was early today. <laughs> oh, I love that sound, Dusty. It reminds me of coming out of the chute, man, just like a yep. stud. Thoroughbred race horse. All right, time to say, Judge Damon, if you can't hear me, here's who yeah. you can call. Call Z 233-3844. What? <laughs> Seven locations in North Alabama. Coach, what did you say Clint Legg's name was? Lacon Larry. Lacon Larry. Lacon Larry. Now, I love it. He a big shopper on Lacon Flea Market? I, think, I believe he has. Yeah. That's where it came How do you pronounce your last name? <laughs> Shrank. Like? Like you put your T-shirt in the dryer and it, it shrinks. shrinks? Yeah, or you just got too big for it. You call it Easy, shrink. man. All right, anyway. <laughs> good, good to have you up here, Mayor. Do it. I said it's good to have you back up here. Thank you. You came over just to play the game. We're going to talk about, about that in a little bit. Dust, you remember how to not. play? Oh, yeah. This is Hey, you knew people over there. Lance, you may have told them how to play. Some of them played before. This is the wrong answer. And over on the other kitchen set this morning, Reggie is back in town. That's right, Reggie. If anybody gets smart, you take care of them. Joe, are you ready? All right, guys, y'all know how to play. Wrong answer, right answer. Viana Sausages, New Hope's looking for a coach. New Hope used to be named Viana. Yankees Cooper, burned it down, right? That's and now they... All right, here we go. <laughs> the first question is, what statue is going to be unveiled in Athens? A Jamie Cooper statue. That's what they ought to. Judge Horton will be yeah, unveiled. Horton. When is Say it? That one. There's my statue in New York right now, in case y'all didn't know. Yeah, okay. No <laughs> protest on that yet over that one. Yeah. They're going to yeah, bat no October 19th at 2 p.m. on the Courthouse Square, Dusty. I just want y'all to know that. Right. What is the name of the Athens Christmas Parade? Athens Christmas, Athens Christmas Parade. Parade. I saw Change it. Change the name. They changed it. Yeah, it's not Reliance yeah. Bank. A very good Bank. answer. Pastor, what it used to be called the Reliance Bank Parade. Yeah, now what is it called? Something Trust. Trust Bank. Trust I'll let Mark. you have it. Trust Mark. It Trust, Mark. Trust, Trust yeah. Mark Christmas Parade. Y'all will see that exclusively here on ZTV 11. Always a memorable day in our life. <laughs> Always. <laughs> The Usually I freezing. Love Bacon Food Truck out of Huntsville now is open in Birmingham. Where are they making an appearance this weekend with it? Inslee. Fall. <laughs> Fall, that's a good answer. <laughs> Talladega. Talladega Run. Little uh, Earnhardt's last race. Okay. I Love Bacon. Joe, what's the name of your pizza truck? Joe's World Pepsi Pizza. Joe's world famous pizza. Why are you being so shy today? You great man, you don't jump at me. Huh? <laughs> if you stand up closer to the mic, I could hear you too. There it is. I got ready here for the answer. All right, guys, y'all might know the answer to this question. Let's go, guys. Coach, coaches, Fort Payne kicker flirts with two records, state records. Mm -hmm. You read that? 60 yarder. That's a right answer. 60 yarder. The record is 61 yard. How long was his punt? I don't know. Well, you should have known that. That was the second part 65. of the question. 65. 84 yard, 84 <laughs> yard punt. Wow. One shy of the 85 year old boot delivered by Russell Joel Joe Kirkpatrick in 1969. So there you go. He's a Mississippi State commit. Oh, is he? Why can't Alabama get him? Yeah. We always need a kicker. Speaking of kickers, y'all don't play hard, so y'all don't have to play hard. So. Harsel has got a kicker over there who kicks the old-fashioned way. Really? Harsel kicker Andrew does the straight on. He's one of the few that kicks straight on. When was straight on kickers obsolete in the NFL? What year? 1995. 72. Uh, Early 80s. 71. Who was the first soccer-style kicker in pro football? Go Galactus is the right <laughs> answer. Oh 19, 1964. <laughs> Got to give it to Coach Pugh over there. That's a good answer. See, he's a smart coach. I thought it was Guy Lafleur. Guy Lafleur. What was the longest field goal by straight on? The game. The game's over. What was the longest field goal by a straight on kicker? You Tom Dixon. Tom Dixon. 63. Yeah, half a foot. Are we calling this the judge? Uh, the judge, uh, Dusty. Let's see if you can answer it. Anyway, just, you don't see me stop in church to ask you a question. Because you don't go enough to ask a question. What time does the Falkville Fall, it's not Decatur Day this morning, the Falkville Fall Festival start Saturday? 7 o'clock. So that's the right answer, Mayor. You ought to know that one over there. Bingo starts at 8. <laughs> what time will Kid Rock be at be there this weekend. Shh, they can't tell. Never. Mm. That can't be answered. 
<laughs> but there's a chief saying it could happen. It could happen. Could happen. All right, guys, I know number 11, number 5, y'all. Y'all do Facebook? <laughs> oh, you do? Okay. What's the newest thing <laughs> Facebook is adding? No uh, idea. Top, top, fellas, let's go. Spa space. <laughs> Facebook space. Virtual like reality. Way. Yeah, I saw Zuckerberg. Well, what can you answer? Can you answer? <laughs> they can answer. I saw Zuckerberg doing that yeah. the other day. They are going to Nap try to. How many people are they going to try to get on their uh, virtual reality headset? Reggie, come on. All of them. Well, that's all I have to write answer, but how many would that be? That would be two billion people. I'll let you have it. One billion people would uh -huh. be your right answer. Uh -huh. it's now a lot of people. Anybody in here ever been a Boy Scout? Smart bunch. I was a Cub Scout. <laughs> I was a Cub Scout one. <laughs> Cub Scout. Yeah, yeah, shut up, man. Zach, Zach was a brownie. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right. Easy. When are they allowing girls to be in the Boy Scouts? I just Next don't year. think that's it's pretty right. Soon. No. 2019. They got yeah. Girl Scouts. I know. Girl Scouts. Oh, here's, but here's the real answer. When did the Boy Scouts, when were they first founded? Mm. 1902. That is a right answer. God, no, wait a minute. That is a wrong answer. 1910. Oh, oh he was close, close enough. All right, here's a, <laughs> it's in the same decade. Here's a guy who hit the trifecta with plants. Uh -oh. Trifecta with plants. Right now in Rhode Island, he's the first ever to achieve a trifecta in the hobby of growing big foods. He set the world's <laughs> record for what three plants? Squash, that pumpkin, watermelon, cabbage. No, what was the other one? <laughs> you, I won't let you have two out of gourd, was the other Gourd, yeah. Oh. His gourd, it says here, this is his pound. I've never seen a squash that big. 2,118 pound squash. Goodness. That's the right answer. How'd you know that? I read it. No, good thing. <laughs> All right, here's one y'all might Practice get. Up for this here's morning. one y'all might get. <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, what happened to the Cleveland mother who got, why, why did she get arrested in Cleveland and sent to serve uh, six months in jail? Broke the law. She broke the law. <laughs> it has something to do with her seven-year-old son. She probably didn't drink beer. Wrong answer. That'd be more than six months in jail. She left yeah. him in the car. No. Give up. We give up. Give up. She got mad because the haircut was taking too long, and it was a free haircut at a barber school, and she pulled a gun out and threatened to shoot every, threatened to oh, shoot the barber. <laughs> but she put the gun down, and they later arrested her and charged her with several other things. The barber did finish the haircut, though, and then she left with her kids. Come on, all right. All right. Free haircut. All you people playing worldwide this morning on Facebook Live and here locally in North Alabama and in the studio, all 300 of you. <laughs> now we're moving on to part two. Only three simple, harder questions. Y'all ready? Simple, harder questions. You at uh, AL.com yesterday. Forrest Gump. Been doing some stuff with people from Alabama in movies. Mythical characters in it. They're having an auction. When Forrest Gump talked to Elvis Presley in the movie, he was wearing a soldier outfit. He had on medals, hat, and shoes. How much will that be auctioned off for? There it is. 100,000. How much? A lot. 200,000. 200. 60 to 70,000. In case y'all want to bid, it's online auction, by the way. Here's the next one. I think we're good. Con Air, the movie, was made in what year? Oh, I mean, 84. Let's have 97, yeah. but that ain't the question. The question is, <laughs> you know, he was from Alabama. Nicholas Cage was supposed to be. The bunny <laughs> on the complaint. Remember, yes. everybody, who in here has not seen Con Air? These guys. Oh, oh. 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 Jamie, Jamie, these guys. They weren't even born. They weren't right. Well, just because they weren't born, don't mean I wasn't born when they made the Wizard of Oz either, but I'm watching. <laughs> right. Hey, 15 times, right? Uh, that is no excuse. <laughs> hey, y'all sure seen the movie The Ten Commandments? Please yep. say yes. How many commandments is it about? Ten. <laughs> Very good, right? Yeah. But anyway, the rabbit and the y'all saying don't tell me. How much are they expected the rabbit to be auctioned off? The bunny, the right? Bunny. The bunny. Twenty-five thousand. Five thousand. Who said five thousand? That's actually the right answer. Cheater. All right, here we go. Are y'all Bama fans or Auburn fans? Roll Tide. What? Oh man! Yeah, bless him. Oh man! Hey, I said, hey, buddy. Moment of prayer for you. You don't even need to be in this building. He's loyal. He's loyal. 
right here. Only two simple questions left. Y'all pay attention. Bama's ra last regular season loss was when and to who? Ole Miss. Ole Miss. In what year? Two years. 2015. 15. That's the right answer. <laughs> but that ain't the Here's the real question. <laughs> In six games this year, they've scored 258 points. Bama has as a team. Last year, how many had they scored in six year in six games? They were averaging thirty. Three hundred ninety. One hundred ninety-five. They're scoring more under Dable mm -hmm. than they like scored two hundred and sixty-nine last year at eleven more. Huh. Why, really? did they have, why did they have eleven more points this year in six games than last year? <laughs> Interceptions. Return. Right. They, they, they haven't had as many defensive the touchdowns. Yeah. Because, that's <laughs> right, Coach. Nine of the TDs last year were non-offensive touchdowns. Yeah, they All right. La oh, okay. Thank because goodness. Because none of y'all really. <laughs> Brad, question. what are you doing? I'm just wiping off some lint off my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be cute for the cameras. It's not working out. All right. Last guys. question. Winner take off since ain't none of y'all really gone out there a little bit. <laughs> I talked about this yesterday on the show, so John David, you're in Elton. I don't even remember. Well, you, you were already gone, Zach, at this part. <coughs> a New Jersey man was arrested mm -hmm. at a ball game. A ball game of six and eight year olds playing t-ball. Why? He hit a kid. What? He hit a kid. Not exactly so. Wrong answer. <laughs> now the guy is a school administrator that makes a hundred and seventy-one thousand dollars a year. That was arrested. What state is this? New Jersey. That's his problem. Need a double dip. Tackle the kids. <laughs> uh, Tackle the kids. Close. Close. <laughs> Don't give up. Did y'all answer a single question, Lance? <laughs> Nothing over there. Lance, you get in charge of that section. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Y'all give up? We're over in the corner. We give up. The kids quarter his son was quarterback on the six to eight the Pee Wee Jets was their name. Mm -hmm. The coach couldn't be there that day, so his assistant coach, 15 year old, is coaching. He pulls that kid out to put another kid in. The dad gets starts shouting obscenities, runs on to the field, and gets him in a headlock, a chokehold. Gets mm -hmm. him in a chokehold, they and then runs off. He later turns himself in and was arrested. He surrendered, it says here. He was for assault and disorderly conduct. What a and, is, wait a minute, and is banned forever from Good. returning to another Pee Wee Jets game. Good. You should be. Move out of state. Goodness. You don't have any trouble with parents, do you? Fault? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> No, we don't. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. With that in mind, we'll come Wrong back. Wrong answer. <laughs> Talk to the coaches coming up just next. Y'all hang on. Welcome back. Let's quickly go over that weather forecast and then briefly later I need to get a car show flyer in. All right, 56, 57 degrees out there this morning, 76, 77 for your high today. No rain to worry about. Tomorrow a little warmer temperatures, 82 for your high. The rest of the weekend looking actually nice and a little cooler temperatures anyway. And we'll see if Monday is the big day for rain. We can use it, but 66 for your high on Monday. There it is right there. Joseph says, don't forget about our car show. We'll talk about that in just a moment. I am the amazing Swami the world's unknown. <laughs>
Jim Kent Gardner shout out. I thought he was going to show up up here one morning, Dusty. He always has good I intentions. I rarely see him at church. Uh -huh. He's working too much. But up here today, three <laughs> coaches are otherwise known as the football version of the Three Stooges. No. <laughs> here this morning. How y'all know each other? Uh, Clint? Clint, Clint and I went to school together. Who was the smartest? Joel. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say he traded over at uh, Lake Hunt? <laughs> no comment, man. I don't get it. <laughs> All right, Coach, how'd it go last week? <laughs> we won. You won. It's always good. That's right. His 100th win, yeah, not 100 just we won. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. Yeah. Do you ever think you'd get it? Uh, did, don't ever think about it. Never, never thought about it, to be honest. Too busy. Mm -hmm. Too busy. Right. So, about how many more you got to go before you get to 100? <laughs> a, a bunch. <laughs> a bunch. You get there, Coach. All right, who, who you got this week? Pope John Paul, or Saint John Paul. Pope oh, John Paul. I don't know if that's You know, that's amazing. Huh? Church people, they change their name every once in a while. All right. <laughs> you playing them there? We're there. At the Vatican? At the Vatican. <laughs> Basically, is what the field looks like. Yeah. So, how's the team looking so far? You know, we, we're beat up. Uh, we've lost uh, three starters so far. Two of them are for the year. So, Do them for the year. Oh. Yeah, lost them for the year. So, but everybody, you know, this time of year, you get beat up a little bit. Mm. We thought we might get one of them back, but it looks like we may not get him back either. So, that's. How are you looking for the region? Uh, if we win tomorrow night, we're looking good. All uh, right. We're probably going to get in. I predict a victory. Uh, you can do it. Hey, Boys can do it. It's hard to beat the Pope. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's hard to beat the Pope. Yeah, but that's the way it goes. What's new with you, uh, Athletic Director? Nothing. Nothing. Look, Nothing looking at all. comfy that's, today. Uh, just to remind everybody tomorrow night we play at uh, Discovery Middle School over there. The fine facilities they have over there. And I think today also the Bible School is having a kind of sort of a, a pink day up there playing volleyball all day up there. So I know our volleyball is playing and that's Jeff, about that's all I got. Y'all lost a great member of your... Uh... Yeah, we did. Miss Susie <coughs> Witt. And, uh, I don't know if, if you don't know her. Um, she and her husband, Gary, they've been taking pictures of East Limestone of our, of our sports teams for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And um, she got been battling cancer and um, uh, she got dehydrated and they tried to give her some fluids and her, her kidneys failed on her. So uh, we lost her last week and not going to be the same uh, around East Limestone because she was always there. They did those things out of the goodness of their heart. Uh, talked mm -hmm. to her husband yesterday, said that she had uploaded over 300,000 pictures Whoa. for for children uh, since they've been there and wouldn't take a dime for it. Just gave and, um, it to them. Mm -hmm. You know, just, um, you know, it's a big hole going to be left at East Limestone because she's always on the sideline at every sport, you know, always there for everybody. They brought drinks for the kids. They brought sandwiches for the kids after ball games. Just um, and one of the reasons that you coach football, people like that. You know? yeah. So it's going to be a big loss. So her funeral's today at 1 o'clock. So. Uh. Ain't that for you guys? Yep. All right, Coach. Uh, how's Falkma looking this year? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. We're starting to play better. Now, how long have you been there? Mm, this is year number six. Number six. Now, you guys were on a big run a couple of years ago, weren't yep. you? Yep. Run over there. So, how's who y'all got this week? We have West End Walnut Grove. And then next week, y'all going to break out the. Next week, we have the the Kit Cancer Jersey. Y'all going to play in pink jerseys? We are. And uh, we got them over in the top of them a little later on this great. morning, too. And we're going to talk with everybody coming up here just a second about why they're doing yeah. this. And those uh, certainly look good on you. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to have you up here. So <laughs> what did you trade at Lake on that day? <laughs> he said something about some comic books and three some Banny Roosters. Three comic books for three Banny Roosters. <laughs> Banny Roosters and Banny We oh, carried them in the back. Joel drove a bottle, but we carried them in the back end of his bottle. Hey, but they were feisty. They, they, they fight. They weren't fighting shit, fighting roosters. Well, they were right? little ones. They were short. Almost got some fainting goats down there. Ooh, I used to have one, though. We got one right there. Fainting goat? Yeah, my, my granddaughter does. Awesome. Commander she had him Dave. in a goat show last week. He <laughs> kept falling out. Y'all remember Commander Dave? Oh, yeah. He, he landed his helicopter in my yard once. Killed your goat. Killed my goat. <laughs> Next day, <I> <laughs> <laughs> Little Mr. Bill. Little Mr. Bill. Uh, you know, Mr. Bill. Little Mr. Bill. I, I gave nice one away friend. too early. That's right. I had two of them. Gave one away. Sure All right, it's time to go. You ready? Hayden is ready. Local and love to Hayden again. Y'all hang on. Hey, see you, see you.
The big car show is this weekend. Don't forget, October 14th, you can see Joseph downtown. There it is. It's their third annual. You can contact Joseph on Facebook or contact us. We'll get you more information on that. Right now, we're going to switch gears, though. We're going to talk about Falkville High School and pink jerseys. The guys are doing good. You didn't get any teasing or anything, did you? Good, good. I was going to say, straighten them out. Coach, you brought us a handful up here today. Introduce everyone. All right, we've got uh, SRO, SRO Sullivan SRO. Yes. and Carol McClendon from uh -huh. Praise for Kaylee Foundation, my wife Donna. All right. Trustin Pilot, our wide receiver free safety, and Aaron Dove, our quarterback. Seniors? Juniors. Juniors. All right. So Juniors. I understand it's going to be a great game, not this Friday. Well, this is going to be a great game, too, but next Friday you're going to be in your jerseys. All right. Why are you doing that? To raise money for the Praise for Kaylee Foundation. Yes, and man, many of you may recognize Miss Caro. She was up here not too long ago talking about mm -hmm. her daughter, and we'll get a little bit of that story mm -hmm. out in just a moment. We're so happy to have you back with Thank us you. this morning. Did he force you to come up here? Yes, he did. <laughs> I figured he did. <laughs> he did. He, you said you were just here for moral support. <laughs> Donna runs the program. I just call the plays. <laughs> no, there's a lot of truth in that, too. We hear a lot about, you know, you football coaches are working so hard, too, but the wives put in a lot of hours, and they do a lot of things with the kids, too, so don't think it's unnoticed. It is definitely noticed. All right, what is what prompted you to do this? Well, my hometown high school um, in Michigan has done it for years and years, and they've raised a lot, a lot of money. And so I thought, you know, that'd be awesome for us to do. Last year we had um, the McClendons come out for a game, and it was just awesome. It affected our community, affected our team, it affected our kids. Uh -huh. And uh, I just wanted to do it again and, and just try to help. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about why you started the foundation. Uh, our daughter Kaylee was diagnosed on her seventh birthday with something called DIPG. It's a diffuse intrinsic pontinglioma. It's terminal. And no one knows what that is. They don't. It's terminal brain cancer. Mm -hmm. um, children that are diagnosed with it generally have about six to nine months um, from their diagnosis date, and we don't have a cure. Yeah. And so when we lost Kaylee last November, um, we decided we'd start this foundation in her honor and that we will continue her legacy of hope. She was a spunky little fighter. Uh, she would have conned you out of your last dollar and made you smile. <laughs> and so we just decided that was her legacy. It was hope. And so we're going to raise money. We're going to raise awareness. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to give up. You know, out of all the guests that we've had up here throughout the many, many years, and unfortunately, we've had to do some very sad stories of, you know, parents losing their children. Mm -hmm. You stand out. You and your husband did the interview with us. And, I mean, you just... You just have this glow about you, and you have managed to let your faith just shine right through. Thank you. You really have. We just didn't, I think we had another choice. We just knew that God was the only answer, and that's where our hope had to lie, and so we have faith there. So even though he didn't answer like we wanted him to answer, that's okay. We still trust. You know, trust. we all, well, not we all, but we should, but, you know, I believe in God, and I, you know, think the same way and we'll see everyone again in heaven. That's right. But for you to be able to carry that through, that's you know just awesome. You don't know how you would react in a situation mm -hmm. like that. So and what was nice too is you guys talk to people. So if there's any families yes. out there, anyone struggling, you can yes. contact her. Please She'll do. Be so happy to talk with you. Yes we would. All right. But I think that's gonna be a great thing. How many how many guys are gonna be in the jerseys? Uh, thirty about forty. About forty? Yep. All right, well good. Well, anything else you guys want to add? Fawful's got a big weekend this this weekend coming up. Yep. We're uh, fall festivals coming. I think yeah. you're gonna talk to the mayor in a little bit. Football's actually running a bingo game all day to raise money. Yeah. So uh, come on out to Fawful. It's a it's a cool place. And I know I'm not supposed to say this, but you know what? The sweet tea trio is going to be performing there at the festival. Well, you know, their his their agent, I guess, or who just signed them is Kid Rock. So there may be a chance he would stop it. Oh, That's just like him to stop at a small town unannounced. So you never know. So you may want to get out there just in case you're the lucky one to catch him and get a picture with him. So, all right, with that in mind, we're going to take a quick break. Thank you all for being with us this morning. We Thanks, sure truly have enjoyed it. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. We're going to talk to Mayor and Lance uh, when we get back. Stay with us. Looking at some good stuff to eat this morning from Joe Paralucci from New York City. New York City. That's right. Joe, congratulations, man. Thank you. I'm what? I'm just for getting up. Hey, I've got your Tebow paper that's in the Gunnerville Gleam today. I've got it over there. Don't forget me. Hey, how was it talking to the great, your great hero? It was amazing. 
he said to uh, tell Jamie Cooper I said hi, and I'm sorry that I let him down not going to Alabama. And not getting on the show. He'll be on the show. Let me ask you a very personal question, Joe. Is there ever going to come a time when you will quit down in Alabama so much on your Facebook rants? Well, here's the thing. People should worry more about going to church and God than worry what I say Whoa. on Facebook. Second of all, one thing you never do is kick them one of the down. So I never say anything when they lose because they are a great We don't lose. Oh, you forgot last year when there was one second left. Forgot about that, that one second. No, it's all in good fun. But, you know, if people paid more attention to God and church than worrying about if Alabama wins, think what would happen. And what would happen if college football was on a Sunday? That's my question. What would happen? Would That's you the same thing, John. Wait, wait a second. You go to the beach already, so I can't ask you that. I'm sorry. Sorry. You're right. If Alabama gets beat, nobody shows up the next day for church. That's why churches are always full around this part of the country. Yeah, you know, wow. you might have to find another church because, unfortunately, you brainwashed my daughter. Yeah. Roll Tide. Yeah. Montana. That's Roll all. Tide. I give up. Your daughter is in Alabama, Reggie. Roll Tide. I tell you what, why can't you praise God and roll with the tide? That's right. You can roll with the eagle. That's right. Shut up, Joe. I'm tired of hearing roll, that. Roll, roll hey, all right, Reggie, what do you think about the pizza in here this morning? First of all, pizza were fantastic. Me, I like to provide healthier options for people that are try, trying to pursue a, a fitness journey. These pizzas, first of all, well-crafted, fresh, and healthy. This is what I'm talking about when I say healthier options, making healthier decisions. Yes, we all love pizza. But you can make your pizzas more healthy. This is a prime example. This guy is fantastic. So it's okay to eat this. This will do. This dog will hunt. That's good stuff right here. That dog will hunt. That All right, hunt. Motivational Monday. What are you going to be talking about this Monday on your Facebook page? Right now, I believe that everyone has a vision. God put a vision in your heart. Do not be discredited. Do not be, do not be uh, feel like you can't achieve what vision God has placed in your heart. You're never too old to do some amazing stuff. Never. Sometimes you run into obstacles, but you need to just surround yourself with a network of good people like this guy, like, like this left, guy. Right? Shut right. up, Jerry. And right. never give up. Jap slap him for the days over Huh? All right, let's get over to the hey, Dusty, man, you know, y'all know where to go this weekend? Saturday. Go to Falk. It starts at 7 o'clock that morning. The mayor's in here. Lance got it all. He's in charge. Tell us when Ken Rock's going to be there. No, we cannot say that. But, you know, there might be that chance that he might stop in. We can say at least say that. But you never know. You never right. know. And that's that's interesting. The, tell us about the performers that you're going to, the entertainment that you have scheduled. we got music starting at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're going to have two stages, an acoustic stage and a main stage. So right. every hour we've got a new artist starting somewhere. The music's never going to stop all day long. Got Jeff Whitlow and Old Barn Band at 10. All right. Sweet Tea Trio at 12 and Riley Green at 2. Hey, you've got a full lineup. Now, this you is do. the 20th Fall Festival. It is. Good job. Thank you. Mayor, how many have you been involved in? 20. I have not been involved in all 20. I've been to all You've 20, been to all of them, I know. But I haven't. Uh, Y'all got certainly got a beautiful weekend for them. I know. That way. Beautiful. Good weekend. We got Love Loud coming up next. When we I went sure over do. six years, four years ago for the first time, I was on the phone, my buddy John D. was telling him, I was on the way to fall. I pulled in and get gas, and Eric and I were washing windows for love life. Yeah, there we that's forget. right. So, uh, you still moment. preaching? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing this Sunday? James. We're just speaking on the tongue this Sunday. It's going to be yeah. interesting. Be good for me James chapter today. 3, yeah. They're all good. And then we, you know, our mission week will be next week, uh, week after next. And so uh, Love Loud's coming up. And we got Light the Night coming up also in yeah. October. It's about a big month in October. How many people showed up last year for Light the Night with free candy at the church? It was probably about 4,000 total. I came about eight. We're expecting yeah, eight, six or, this eight year. or ten. We're going to be conservative. <laughs> about right. four, really. Y'all really leaving? Good. Go. All right. Got class. All right. Yeah, y'all go. Thank y'all for coming up. Bye. All right. See, see Coach. See. Thank you. Call y'all coming up. All right. Anything else we need to know about Falkville? Well, this year we're adding our first annual uh, Widow Son charity ride. Motorcycles oh, okay. for the VFW raising money. I'm guessing the, you have one. I do. <laughs> He's in his so riding gear. <laughs> that, that will start at the VFW in Falkville. Uh, kick stands up at 10 a.m. All right. Anything else about church? I don't know. Well, about. just come on, join us. Nine o'clock, connect group. There's always service. a seat up front. Joe there Carmichael is. on one side, us on the other side. If you're looking for a church home, Lindsay Lane Baptist Church is the place to be. Come Ready? Thanks for coming up. Look forward to working with you. Soon, I'll look <laughs> like that. Almost. All right. <laughs> Thanks for coming up, Hayden. We're going to go out with you on this Thursday morning. Y'all have a great weekend. I'll see y'all next week. Here's local and loved it. Y'all hang Bye -bye. on.